So it's great news for President Trump that two more of his endorsed candidates have won. It's basically their primary. Um, it's a different type of primary up in Michigan. They do things different. So instead of people voting, the delegates have to vote. But it sounds like the delegates were persuaded by President Trump's endorsement. So that's another big victory for President Trump. Looks like we're about to get ready to have the speakers. We got some people that have taken the podium. When the music lowers, let's see. You're alive here in Ohio for President Donald J. Trump. Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage radio host of Columbus's 98.9 FM, The Answer. I want to thank everybody for giving up a beautiful Saturday to join us here in this Save America rally. You know, it's obvious to me how much saving America means to you because you are all willing to dig into your 401ks to afford the gasoline to get here. We're thrilled to see you, and I know the 45th President of the United States, Donald J. Trump, will be thrilled to see you as well. Mr. Trump is scheduled to speak tonight at 7 o'clock, and you'll also hear today from U.S. Senate candidate J.D. Vance, Congressman Mike Carey, and congressional candidates Madison Gilbert and Max Miller. All of our speakers tonight will be giving you their vision for the future of this great nation. And as an added bonus, not a single one of them will need the assistance of the Easter Bunny to make it to the podium. I think it's fitting today that I stand here in bright sunlight in what is really one of the first beautiful, warm, bright days we've had this spring. It's fitting because the brilliance of the sunshine reminds me of the light that is building in our nation. A light that will eradicate the darkness that has gripped our country since President Trump left office. You know, the Bible tells us that darkness does not understand the light and thus cannot overcome it. So while there is great darkness in America today, there is hope for our future because of people like you who have the courage to speak truth into the lies that permeate our culture. And by doing that, you are shining light into the darkness. One of my favorite quotes from the, comes from the English theologian G.K. Chesterton, who said that a nation disintegrates when it ceases to recognize things that are obvious. A nation disintegrates when it ceases to recognize things that are obvious. We have an administration today that is threatening the greatness of America because it refuses to acknowledge a broad spectrum of things that are obvious. It is obvious that our withdrawal from Afghanistan was not an extraordinary success, but rather a humiliating embarrassment that resulted needlessly in the death of 13 brave American service personnel. It is obvious that inflation is not the fault of COVID or the supply chain or the war in Ukraine, but rather because we have an inept administration in Washington that cannot stop spending money. It is obvious that a southern border flapping as wide open as our, pres our vice president's gums is not in any way an improvement over Trump-era policies, but is instead an intolerable and unnecessary risk to our nation's national security. It is obvious that gas prices and diesel prices are soaring, not because of Vladimir Putin, but because of Joe Biden and his idiotic domestic energy policy. It is obvious that we are funding a war against Russia in Ukraine. We shouldn't be enlisting Russia's help to enter into an even worse nuclear arms deal that puts Israel in peril of eradication by the terror network that is Iran. And it is obvious that if Black Lives Matter wants to be an authentic organization true to its name, it will start by saying something about the ending of innocent black lives via the soaring murder rates in our nation's cities. 
It is obvious that masks don't work. Hunter's laptop is real. Boys shouldn't play sports with girls. You don't need to be a biologist to know what a woman is. Schools are for education, not indoctrination. And last but not least, it is obvious that AOC does not control climate change, but G-O-D does. Make no mistake, the United States will emerge from this dark time when we elect men and women with the wisdom and insight to understand that leadership is first and foremost about service, not about influence peddling, personal power, or political prominence. President Trump was a leader intent on making America great again, and you will hear from other candidates tonight who share his vision for charting a course back to the prosperity and peace that we enjoyed during this administration. So support your candidates in the primaries, but remember, the primary is the halftime score. The final score is the general. We got to win in November. We got to make a red wave that takes over America and takes over Washington, D.C., and reminds the demonic and deranged Democratic Party that we are the United States of America, divinely inspired, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage. Hi, everybody. I'm Bruce Hooley, and it's a pleasure for me to be able to talk with you today, just like it was a pleasure for me to speak at the Donald Trump Save America rally in Delaware, Ohio, on Saturday, April the 23rd. I had the chance to talk briefly with the former president, hopefully future president, and what I did was thank him for what he did for veterans like my father who fought in World War II. You know, Donald Trump is definitely a patriot who loves our country, and I will, don't think you'd be watching this video if you weren't also a patriot who loves our country. So what can we do to help fight against the tides of culture that are threatening to overwhelm us in our schools, in our media, in academia? Well, I think we need to be intentional with our shopping dollars. We need to send a message to the big companies that donate millions and millions and millions of dollars to causes that we don't support, that don't support the foundations of our country. How do we do that? By being intentional with our shopping dollars. And that's why I'm a passionate advocate for the Patriot Switch movement. What is Patriot Switch? It's a way for your dollars to send a message to the big companies that we don't appreciate you campaigning against the values that made America great. And to show you that we don't appreciate it, we're going to buy the same merchandise we've already been buying for our home. We're just going to buy it from a different company. We're going to buy it from a pro-America company, a pro-life company, a company that understands that America is inherently a good country that is always striving to get better. That'll allow me to reach out to you. If you click my name in the down menu, you'll hear from me or a member of my team who can explain to you how you can strike a blow against the forces that we don't support, that in fact support things that are antithetical to what America really is. So thank you for your time. Thank you for being a patriot. And I hope that we can talk soon. Thank you.